Do you want to be rich this time next year, 12 months from now, be earning six figures and doing things with your life? Well, stay tuned. Right now, we have something that's going on, the Intellectual Property School, how to make money from your mind. And this is the process for you to be part of this experience. You need to go below and get into the Intellectual Property School app where we ask you some questions and see if we're the same mind. If we're the same mind, then you will get a free introductory call to see if you're a right fit, right candidate for the Intellectual Property School. So go below, hit that up, and I will see you guys in this video. Do you wanna be fat? happy and rich. If you want to be able to get your point across, if you want to be able to organize stuff, if you want to be able to date much better, more effectively, this is something you need to learn how to do. You need to learn how to sell. And I'm not talking about where some guy has come up and sold me this pen that I'm not talking about that. The proper standard, the proper situation for learning how to sell is very different than what you will see in these hot tape YouTube videos. Number one, what's the first thing you have to do to learn how to sell? You must identify a valuable lead. And here's the thing. There's a lot of people out there who just don't need what you have to sell. So by identifying these viable leads, you go ahead and you just literally fill up a pipeline full of people who need your product, who need your services. And it just, just doesn't waste time and the rejection level goes way, way lower. Also, you need to go ahead and set up a sales campaign. This is something that I'm doing. At the beginning of this video, you saw me put in an application process, and I'm gonna tell you why. I've been selling online courses for, since 2014. Next year, it'll be 10 years. And these are some of the things that happen. I have students who do really, really well, and I have students who never really do that well. And I begin to ask myself that question because this has been uh, a system or about revamping and changing up things. And one of the things I have noticed about my students who did well, they also did better in life. They were, you know, because I, I, years and years ago, I had this course, 30 days to 2,500. And the people who had already had businesses, who were already set up, I had one guy who went from $10,000 a month to $30,000 a month taking that course, taking that course. So what I'm getting ready to do is to have somewhat of a vetting process. It's already started and there's some people, they're just not cut out for it because one of the things that, and this, this is part of selling, identifying your targeted audience. This, this is a big, big part of selling because I know it seems kind of limited when you start to niche down and when you start to narrow it down and when you start to get really really specific this is one of the things that you have to understand this is the key to you making millions of dollars millions of dollars so that's the thing this is with finding leads and making sure that the leads are quality leads i remember years ago when i was selling office furniture and i called this lady and she was having somewhat of a terrible day we got to talk and about five minutes of the conversation, I realized that she didn't need our product. And I was like, well, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. But you know, I don't think we can service you in any fashion or form. And she says, you're the first salesperson to actually say that I didn't need your product. Well, you just don't, we sell office furniture. You're not in that mood. I, I have to look at my lead source again. And, um, this is something that happens when you try to sell with integrity. This is like, well, I do have a friend that works for a company that I know for a fact's moving. You want her name? Boom, she gave me her name, gave me an introduction. I got that deal. All because I wasn't trying to push stuff down her throat that she didn't have a need for. So you gotta go ahead and find the leads. You gotta organize the leads and you have to sell with integrity because when you sell with integrity, that, that just goes so much, much further. And I'm about to share a story with you of someone that I knew. 
and I'm about to give you some identifying information. This man is 5'9". He's bald up top. He has hair on the side. I don't think he's an ugly person, but he would not be in the competition for the best looking guy. Normal looking guy, 5'9". Not terribly, ch not, he, he's, he's a little stout, but he's not fat. But this guy, when I knew him, he was selling two, three million dollars a year worth of products. And one night we were out and we were at this bar and there was this striking blonde across the table, across the way, sitting at a table with three of her friends. And this salesman was like, I like that. I said, what do you like? He, he, he showed me the blonde. I was like, yeah, she's very nice looking. So he goes over, he introduces himself and he gets her name and he says, I won't be, and he goes here, once again, because he was a salesperson, there, there's there's so many lessons that you learn. He's like, hello, ladies. I'm not going to be here long. I am just need to be here for a hot minute. And he says, I'm here for you. My name is such and such. Well, it's your name. And I understand you're out with your friends. But at some point in the future, you and I are going out on a date. You and I are going out on a date. And the woman just kind of giggled. And she gave her, she gave him her name, gave her her phone number, and um, <clears throat> he came back, and you know, went went out. We, he came back to where we were, and we started talking and stuff. And then um, the very next week, he takes her out. But one of the things that he does, because he's a salesperson, he he called her up and he says, "Hey, I'm not one of these guys that likes to go places and wait on folks. So I would like the honor of picking you up." and we can go on our date together. Once again, salesman, he took control of the situation. So he picked her up and went to a very nice restaurant, had a lovely evening. He was funny. He was really, really funny. And she's like, she was laughing all evening. And then uh, they went home, he took her home. And then he asked her out for a second date before the first date was over. And she said, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. And they started dating and they started going out. And today they've been married for 15 years. Now, what helped this ordinary average man go out and bag a very hot, very sexy woman? He knew how to present himself. He knew how to control the conversation. There, there's so many things that you will learn once you learn how to sell a product, learn how to sell a service. There, there's so many things, and this will literally change your life. And this is one of the things that we'll be getting into, into the intellectual property school, how to sell, how to create, how to handle sales organization. Because right now, and th this is something that's really, really interesting. I have been a part of many sales organizations and because that I got my leads from an inbound situation, I really didn't have a sales protocol set up because my leads would just come in, they would buy the products and they would go on. Now I get to set up a sales organization, a sales process and today was the first day that I looked into it and it was really interesting because, you know, this is just the beginning. You know, there's things we have to sort out. There's things that we have to put together. And tomorrow, I'm probably going to run another test talking about some of, the, some of the things that I do. But when you learn how to sell yourself, this, my friend, he sold himself. He went over to this woman and you know what he told me? He's like, because once they started getting serious, and it didn't take them. They got serious after a month. They moved in together like two months after he met her. That's how serious they got. And he, we were out and he was just like, you know, he said, you know, one of the things that she told me, I said, what? He said, she was extremely impressed and thrilled that I came over to the table with her and her girlfriends. And she was very impressed on how I conducted myself because he was only at the table maybe two minutes, I would say maybe a minute and a half. He just made his pitch, he said what he needed to say, got a name, got a number, and he dipped. Once again, once you learn sales, because essentially, this is where a lot of people go wrong, trying to sell products where you have to meet people. Your first introductory call is to set the appointment. You cannot sell this stuff, because when you, and once again, when you're talking about selling 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90,000 dollar products, they're gonna need a conversation. They're gonna need to talk to you. They're, not, they're gonna need to see you. The most that I've ever been able to sell on YouTube was a $50,000 package. And I'll, I'll tell you the story about that. 
and it, it, I, it was the YouTube channel and it was phone conversations and this was more of the inbound lead stuff. Literally, it took one phone conversation for me to get these $50,000 a year contracts. Now, part of the reason is I was selling something very, very specific and these people in the channel was pretty much rooted in that material. But if you learn how to sell, you learn how to present yourself, you learn how to conduct yourself, we're talking about a life changing activity. Now, for me to learn how to sell effectively, selling effectively is finding a client, a lead, setting the appointment, going on the presentation, let's see, finding the lead, setting the appointment, going on the presentation, presenting, closing, getting the deposit check, managing the furniture installation. See, I'm holding up seven things I had to do. And this, these seven things constitute a sales process. And one of the things that you will learn is, and this is why I said this whole notion of this whole thing of just, you're gonna be like this super sales person and gonna sell ice to Eskimos. That's not real sales. That's hustlers craftsmanship. And once you learn how to sell for real, how to sell effectively and how to immerse yourself in the sales process, it will literally change your life. It will change, because here, here's the thing, it's very rare that you see extremely obese people who are being successful. Now with that said, there are exceptions to the rule. You might see someone who's 400 pounds, he's a millionaire, but normally, when you see someone who is extremely successful, they're they're not used, they may be a little chubby or something like that, but they're not going to be morbidly obese because part of being good at sales is you have to have control and discipline. When I was in sales, I used to get up at 4:30 in the morning and this is something that was really interesting. And this was back in the day. I could catch people in the office at six o'clock in the morning. And because their secretary wasn't there, they picked up the phone and I was able to set appointments. So I would get up at 4.30, do what I needed to do, start making phone calls from six to eight, go to the office if I needed to, or go to appointments. And I got so many appointments making my sales calls for six to eight because I understood. So I had to get up early because I wanted to be able in the position to contact the folks who can make a decision on whether they were going to buy or not buy our stuff. And one of the things that will happen once you learn this process, and this is something that we're gonna get into, into the intellectual property school, is how to sell, how to create a sales process, how to set things up, and how to have conversations with people. Because one of the things that you will come to understand is there, like I said, there's a lot of people out there who just simply do not need what you have to sell. And that's cool, that's fine. Because once you start to be, you know, I used to sell commercial office furniture. 99% of Atlanta was not in the market for commercial office furniture. Yet we, I worked for a company that made millions. I think my last year there, we did like 15 million as a company, 15 million. So is very specialized, very niche, very, very much on point. And once you learn how to sell yourself, because this is something that may come across as mean and dismissive, I don't really care. A lot of folks online are personalities. They're not salespeople. If someone has a big following, they have a lot of people who like them, they've become influencers and they can literally hold up this 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 is a product that an influencer i just love this you should try it now that's can sell certain things now i'm going to tell you an influencer cannot sell a million dollar computer system an influencer cannot sell possibly porsche 911 turbo s you want to know why? Because the mass, the vast majority of their followers do not have the financial appetite to afford a Porsche 911 Turbo S. So there, there's a lot of things that we're going to get into, but you know, selling and learning how to sell. And you know, today was the first day that I got back into actually having a sales process, and I was, I was, I was happy. I don't know what it was. It was just like, okay, 
this is what we're going to do. And you know, like I said, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning and it's gonna get deeper, deeper. It's gonna get more fat. It's gonna get more inclusive as we go along the process. So one of the things that you want to understand is sales are not evil. When you're selling with integrity, when you're selling to people to put the situation in an appropriate manner, there's no shame in your game. You will present, you will sell with impunity. So learning how to sell is a game changing moment in your life. Literally learn because, you know, back in the day, I don't know if IBM still does this, but I, IBM used to have a six month sales training program. And going through my process, being at Renecrate Panel Systems and Business Environments, I would say it took me 14-ish, I wanna say 18 months, but it took me about 14 months to learn how to get appointments, learn how to set appointments, learn how to go on appointments, learn how to close appointments. And those 14 months have literally changed the rest of the trajectory of my life in virtually every aspect. And this is something that you should want to do. You should want to present, you should want to sell. And I know that a lot of people don't want to be sold to, let me, let me let you in on a little secret. Millions, millions of people are sold to every day. Excuse me, billions of people are sold to every day. So learning how to sell, reading sales books, and also getting in a professional career. Now, just selling these knickknacks and this drop shipping stuff, that's not what something I would recommend. I would recommend that maybe you wanna get in car sales, maybe you wanna get into computer sales, maybe you wanna get into cybersecurity sales, or you wanna get into protection sales. There's a lot of very good sales jobs out there that will prepare you to become a sales monster, a selling machine. And a lot of the salespeople that I used to work with, guess what they're doing? They're retired because they made so much money selling some stuff. And literally, if you go ahead, and this is where you should be getting into the intellectual property school. We're gonna teach you how to set up your corporation. We're gonna teach you how to set up your holding company. We're gonna teach you how to get business credit. We're gonna teach you some stuff about taxes. We're gonna teach you how to start a company. We're gonna teach you how to sell. We're gonna teach you how to set up a YouTube channel. So if you wanna be part of the intellectual property school and learning all of these new, high value, highly marketable skill sets, because you know, if I was to sit down and take the time to put together a resume and list out my valid accomplishments, that would probably get me a $500,000 per year job, or maybe more, maybe more. And there's a lot of things that we will be talking about and discussing in the intellectual property school that's gonna make you, number one, a salesperson, number two, a good salesperson, number three, a highly paid salesperson. So go below, fill out the app, and if your mindset and our mindsets meet, then you will get your introductory call and you will get a link to a calendar to set up your call and we will go from there. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next episode here at I Eat Fire. I love that name. I really do. I really, really do.